welcome back to my channel. So today is Valentine's Day right now. And Trevor and I are putting together our little Valentine's Day night. We're literally doing the same thing as last year where we just got Wingstop takeout and brought it home and just watched movies and stuff. So I guess it's like kind of turning into a tradition. We're not really Valentine's Day people, but I did bring home some wine and then some chocolate chip cookies to bake together. So making it like a little bit special, but you know, it's so funny. If you guys remember my Valentine's Day outfits, I did one outfit that was like for an at-home dinner and movie on the couch night. I'm literally wearing that outfit for this exact thing. It was not on purpose. I realized it as soon as I got ready and I was like, oh that's too funny but i'm actually about to change out of it into something a little bit more comfortable so that i can comfortably eat my wings because being married means that you don't have to dress up if you're doing valentine's day at home i got this wine this is the menage a trois silk soft red california blend i haven't had it before but um we'll try it out um and then i have a few target goodies that i will show you guys a little bit later So it's a little bit later in the night and Trevor's gone to bed. We had a nice like very chill Valentine's Day. Nothing too crazy. That's just like how we like to do it. Like we don't want to go into like the craziness of like out in the restaurants and everything. We prefer to just chill at home with our pup who is sleeping very soundly right now. Oh, just kidding. He's readjusting. Going back to sleep. Okay, buddy. But right now I'm just putting some stuff away because Michelle is coming over tomorrow so that we can film a video for my channel. It's the Australian snack mukbang. I brought back a ton of Australian snacks and we're gonna do like a whole mukbang with it. I'm really excited for it, but I just want to get this place kind of like tidy. Fun fact, this is actually gonna be Michelle's very first time coming over to my place. So I'm trying to make a good impression. But I grabbed a few things from Target that I just wanted to share with you guys really, really quick. So first off, I got a new pair of lashes. These are the Ardell Wispies. These are classics. I've used them before. I love them. I've just like run out of lashes, so I need to get some. Then I got a second pair of lashes for a very, very important reason. Very fun reason. So these are just like elf lashes. I was just trying to get some like really cheap lashes because I'm about to film a very, very fun video with Trevor that'll be going up on March 10th, which is our anniversary. So I'm super excited for this video. Just a little teaser for you. Those were needed for it. We're actually gonna film it this weekend because this is actually his last Sunday that he'll have off for a couple of months. Actually, that's a lie. He was just able to get the eighth off but that's because we're gonna be going to Disneyland for my cousin's 30th birthday, so we can't film it then, so we have to film this weekend. Then I also got some organic peppermint tea. I wasn't really trying to get organic, I was just trying to get some freaking peppermint tea, but all they had was organic. But I've decided I wanted to start drinking a cup of tea before bed just to kind of help digestion, and peppermint really helps with digestion, so um, I got some of this, and I'll go ahead and make myself a cup in just a little bit. I also got this from The Good Stuff. This is the complete repair bomb. This is a no rinse conditioner, just like the nourishing cream that I had before. I actually had wanted the nourishing cream, but they were sold out. I couldn't find it. So I just grabbed this guy, figured I'd try him out. Then I got two Ollie vitamins. One is a refill, the goodbye stress. You guys know every night I have one of these with one of the melatonin sleep ones. That combination is so good, especially if you have a busy mind and you have a hard time falling asleep. Take this anti-stress one along with the melatonin one and it'll knock you right out. And then I also decided that I wanted to try these. This is the Daily Energy for a steady flow of energy with vitamin B12, COQ10, and goji berry. And this one is in the Tropical Passion flavor. So I'll try this for the first time tomorrow. But I have honestly been having a lot of trouble with motivating myself throughout the day with just having like energy and stuff so i figured i would give these a try see if it kind of helps boost me throughout the day so that i can be a little bit more productive and just a little bit more energized and then the last thing that i got is a journal this says don't be like the rest of them darling i thought that that was a really really cute little phrase and then this cover is kind of like a leather like material has the little band the spiral on here is actually a really pretty 
pink rose goldy color and then how cute is this the sides of the pages are this like metallic rose gold it's so pretty and then inside I like that the lines are kind of like college ruled I don't like it when the lines are too wide because I have very small writing so I liked the spacing on it and I like that there's a little spot for a date but I'll get a little bit more into what I plan on using this for in the next vlog we'll talk about it next weekend by the way that was it for this little mini Target haul but the reason why we'll talk about it next weekend is a I need to set it up and decide exactly like what I plan to be doing I do want to kind of like daily journal but not like a journal where I like write down what happened during the day just more of like a goals journal but for this vlog what I really want to concentrate on from here on out is like 24 hours a day in the life of a part-time youtuber slash blogger as you guys know obviously this isn't my full-time job which does mean that I have to maximize my weekends to get in as much content creation and everything as I can so since tomorrow is a shoot day I figured I'd take you guys really in depth into behind the scenes on what goes into that it does take a lot of work and Truth be told, I would love for this to be my full time because I'm so passionate about it. It's why I create three videos a week. So I just want to be able to share a little bit of like what goes into it and how I get it all accomplished with you guys. So first things first, like I said, right now I'm just going to clean up a little bit. Luckily, we cleaned up pretty heavily before we went to Australia. So it's mainly just tidying. And then after that, we will head up into the beauty slash filming room and I'll go ahead and start styling all of my outfits for the shoot tomorrow. I know you guys have seen me do that before but give you guys a little bit more detail on that and also like all of the new things that I've started incorporating for when I'm styling and packing for a shoot and then we'll regroup tomorrow and I'll show you guys like fully all of the prep that I do in the morning before I actually head to go shoot with Michelle and stuff like that and then in the afternoon we're coming back here to film the mukbang so it's gonna be like a packed 24 hours but I'm excited to show you guys so let's go ahead and start cleaning up this place So I'm in the spare. Ooh, I need to talk kind of quietly because Trevor's sleeping right across the hallway. But I got my tea. This peppermint tea smells so good. Oh my god. That is it's hot. So we're going to let it chill for a second. Um, but basically what I am aiming to do right now is just style all of my outfits. I actually, well I kind of have them already styled out. So this is what I do when I'm like on a lunch break at work or just like need to not do work things for just like a few minutes I will start styling all of my outfits so to easily transfer them and access them I put them all in my calendar on the day that I'm gonna shoot so I have them all here I have everything listed and this does include accessories like bags or jewelry shoes as well I'm not gonna pack jewelry though because all of my jewelry is in our bedroom and Trevor's sleeping so I'm gonna leave that to tomorrow morning but for tonight I'm just gonna put together all the outfits make sure that I like like the way that they all look together I don't actually try my outfits on which can be a risk but for the most part I've actually been pretty good with being able to envision them so I'm just gonna put them all together most of the stuff is already hanging here I got a few orders in this is a little preview for a haul that I'll be putting up on my channel in the next couple of weeks but a good handful of the pieces that I'm shooting tomorrow are from this haul so most of them are already in here and then I have like the rest of the pieces just over here on the couch. So I'm going to start organizing them, getting the shoes together. I have the shoes down here and um, then after that we'll go ahead and pack them all together in my base bag which I did a review on the base bag and gave you guys some like in-depth insights into my thoughts about it and if it's worth it or not. I believe that that video will be going up after this vlog so stay tuned for it. So I'm not going to dive too deep into it in this video. If you guys 
want more information on the base bag and like packing it and stuff, I will have that with more detail in the next video. For right now, let's go ahead and start organizing all of this stuff. packing for a shoot. I am going to start with shoes because the bottom of the base bag has a shoe compartment so I want to go ahead and fill that up. This shoot's a little bit different. Usually I get away with like two to three pairs of shoes. For this one I am actually doing a different pair of shoes with every single outfit so I need to pack four pairs of shoes because I'm going to be wearing one outfit just like out the door. <sighs> I'm just going to go ahead and start popping all of these in. Well, these are like really, really big boots like this. So uh, I'm hoping I can get the majority of the shoes in. I don't think that this is going to work. Shoot. Okay. So I was only able to do three pairs of the shoes, just barely. I'm going to need to throw another one up top, but it's fine. Cool. So let me go ahead and pack this top. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these shoes in. These go with my third look. So they need to be fairly accessible. I'm trying to think of the order of my outfits. I think that this will be fine to go on the bottom. And then the way that I pack my outfits is backwards order. So the last outfit, which is this one, will go on the bottom. I am though going to make sure to pack the jeans on the top because I'm actually wearing these jeans in my second to last look as well. I'm only changing the top. So I'm going to pack that there. And then that top is actually silk. So I'm just going to leave it hung. And then these are the next two outfits. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and pack my bags for my different looks. So this is in the third to last. It's a brand new bag, so I have to take everything off. There it is. But how cute is this bag? We'll talk about it some more. That was just like a little snippy, but put that in. And then you guys have seen this before. It's my black clutch. And then this bag actually goes on the last outfit, but I am just going to leave it out because I'm going to pack that as my actual like bag for the day, like my purse. But that's pretty much it for here. Um, it's very quick, very easy, and I'm sure that it like, ooh, I just realized she- I also have this jacket that goes with my second look. This is way too big to pack. Maybe. I'm going to try it. It might fit. We may just make it. But I do still need to put like my jewelry in here, so we'll see. But will this fit? I think it fit. Okay, cool. But anyways, I'm just going to finish tidying up this room. This room doesn't need too much work. And then I have a little bit of trash here from taking off the tags off of all of my outfits. Obviously, you guys saw after I'm done, like, putting the pieces together, that's when I will take off the tags right before I fold all of the pieces. And that's just because, you know, I may realize as I'm styling that a piece just doesn't really work for me um, and I may end up returning it. But anything that I'm going to shoot, I take the tags off because I'm keeping. And then like Michelle and I are actually going to shoot the mukbang in here tomorrow. I think probably on this red couch, you guys have probably seen it peeking in the background before. I think we'll shoot over there. But anyways, yeah, I'm just going to finish all of that up and then I will see you guys tomorrow morning. We'll get ready together. Um, I'll give you guys a little more insight into kind of like how we pick our locations and what really truly goes into like a typical day of shooting. Um, but my camera is flashing red. This needs to charge as well. Obviously, that's another prep thing that we need to do before tomorrow. So I'm going to get all of that done and I will see you guys bright and early. start getting ready and start on my makeup. I always forget to take my hair down 
after I'm done with all of my face makeup, which like I need to do because I don't want a dent in my hair. I think I might curl my hair. I don't know, it's been a while since I like shot with straight hair, but that's because like I actually don't really love the way that the pictures turn out when I do have straight hair. But I don't know, I might do it today just to switch it up. We'll see. But anyways, let's start on the makeup. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and start out with the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. And for shoot days, as much as I would absolutely love to do some like big extravagant eye look, I would love to shoot like some color or something, but we usually shoot minimum of three outfits. Usually it's more towards four to five outfits. And I just like, I never wanna do a makeup look that's too extravagant or else it's not gonna go with all of the outfits. So I generally try to keep my makeup pretty neutral on shoot days. I'm thinking next time I have a day where I'm only gonna shoot three looks, I will plan my looks around that going in with a Hydro Grip Primer. Since we are gonna be filming the mukbang later, I want my makeup to last as long as possible. All right, you guys, let me use it again. The Australis Foundation, Fresh and Flawless, full coverage. This thing is life-changing, I love it. I'm not kidding, you guys. This is probably the best foundation I've ever used in my life. It's so good. I'm just like blown away. I almost love this as much as my Jouer foundation. Oh, it's just so good and it's so affordable if you live in Australia. <laughs> but it is currently 10 o'clock. Wow, 10 o'clock on the dot. I have to leave here at like 11.10ish. We are starting to shoot a little bit earlier today because we're gonna film the mukbang afterwards but we are gonna go to old town orange it's one of our favorite areas to shoot in that's really funny our tastes in locations to shoot in has changed so much over the last year for anyone who's not following on instagram michelle and i officially have been shooting for a full year together as of like last weekend i think but it's funny when we first started we would try to like shoot in parks just kind of like outdoorsy we would go to trails and stuff like that and we slowly started to realize that we actually really hated all of those backdrops and everything. It was just too busy. We realized we didn't want too much green in our feed. Although if you look at my feed like right now, there is green because I have some like Australian pictures. But other than that, you won't be seeing much green. You might see a little bit, but not too much. And green's just really hard in images unless you like really lean into it for your feed. So we started realizing that we really preferred more like urban settings, more city, and like the grungier the better. It just, I don't know, it just felt right to us. We just noticed that we were liking the photos where we were maybe in like a dirty alleyway and stuff like that. So that's usually what we try to aim for right now. And Old Town Orange is great for that because they have a lot of like more rundown buildings and stuff. Not like in a bad way, just more of like in a historical way. So it's like a lot of really great texture that we love to put in our feeds. And luckily we have very similar taste in backdrops and stuff like that. So we usually are like on the same page about where we wanna shoot. I am actually gonna bake today. So let me get a set a small area here. But we do usually try to stay local here in Orange County just because, you know, we're doing a lot of changing. We're trying to run around and like we're familiar with what's here in the locations that we choose to shoot in. So we can be quick because we know which areas we like and stuff. But sometimes we do like to venture up to L.A. for a shoot. Like the next shoot that we do, we have been talking about actually trying to go to Venice Beach. So that may be an upcoming vlog. I mean, whether we go to Venice Beach or not, the next shoot will be an upcoming vlog. But I'm hoping that it will be set in Venice Beach because it would be a lot of fun. Do I look terrifying yet? Absolutely. But like eventually we do want to try out some new locations because we are getting, to be honest, a little bit bored with all of the locations that we've been shooting in. Shoot, I did done my hair. Damn it. It's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna curl it. Whatever. I've decided. I'm gonna curl it. I am gonna use the matte bar from Maybelline. I, I got this in last week's vlog and I've actually been using it all week and I really like it. So I just figured I would do like a really simple matte look but yeah we would absolutely love to get over to the palm springs area and shoot maybe rent an airbnb and just spend like a full weekend shooting content up there and not just photos like 
lookbooks and maybe a couple of styling videos and stuff. Another area that we would love to get over to as well is San Diego. San Diego is just like so freaking beautiful and I love downtown San Diego. It definitely has all of the textures that we're looking for. Sometimes we do venture up to Long Beach, which is technically LA County. I um, need to just coat my lashes. I'm going to use the Bad Gal Bang. This mascara sucks but I'm willing to use it because A, I just need to like use it up and B, whenever I'm wearing like false lashes, it really doesn't matter what freaking mascara I put on. It's just like, I don't know if you guys can see. My lashes are really, really chunky with this mascara. They clump so much. It doesn't lengthen. It doesn't like do anything. It's a terrible, terrible mascara. And it was a really, really, really bad suggestion by a YouTuber who shall remain nameless. And then like speaking of makeup and stuff, I did want to let you guys know, no, I will not be getting and reviewing the Jaclyn Hill Morphe or the Jeffree Star Bloodless palette just because, you know, I'm trying to be a little bit better about how I'm spending my money. So when I saw the reveal for both of those palettes, to be honest, I was pretty underwhelmed. So I'm not gonna buy palettes that like were underwhelming to me. I'm never gonna use them. And also too, I have so many freaking palettes. I would literally never ever be able to get through them all right now. So when it comes to palettes, it needs to really excite me. Like how the Conspiracy palette excited me. And it wasn't just because of the series on that, I promise. It was like the color story that Shane put together in that palette just like sparked my creativity. So that's why that one I was like, man, I have to have that palette. And honestly, just neither of those palettes did that for me. If I was gonna get one of the two, I would definitely get the Jaclyn Hill one. I just like that one a little bit more, but it's still not enough to make me want to go spend money on it instead and i'm so late to the game on this boom i actually this weekend ended up finally ordering the tati beauty textured neutrals palette and the blendiful which i will be doing a video on on my channel in the next like week or so once it arrives and stuff because i did a poll on instagram and you guys said that you were still interested in hearing my thoughts on it so i am going to do a dedicated video to it i wasn't originally but since you guys seemed to be interested i am going to do a video with that but yeah i'm sorry if like you're a little disappointed you were hoping to see a review on one or both of those palettes but i am still paying for all of my own product that i review the um pixie products I did in I think it was two vlogs ago that's the only exception where I didn't pay for it since I'm spending my own money it really truly does need to be something that I feel like I desperately want to have and genuinely am interested in myself hopefully you guys will like the Tati one I know that there are already a ton of reviews out there on it but like I said you guys seem to still be interested in hearing my thoughts and opinions on it so I'm actually really excited about that one anyways so I'm all done with my makeup yeah I have time to curl my hair so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair I don't think I'm gonna do like big bouncy curls like I usually do I think I just want like want to do the ends and let it be like soft and pretty um and then I'm actually already dressed in my first outfit I don't know if I already mentioned that, I might have. But I'll see you guys in a little bit when we're heading out to go to Orange. I didn't show you guys my full outfit, so I have on the sweatshirt I'm wearing it as a dress. It's an extra large, but it is from Australia, so I can't link it. I'll link a similar one though. And then I have my, ooh, I'm falling, my knee-high boots. And then I'm gonna be wearing this puffer coat with it, and I'm gonna die because it's really, really hot because I'm still shooting winter looks right now to finish out my lookbook. And Michelle forgot her sunglasses, so she's coming. There she is, slowly making her way. 
<laughs> I'm gonna be like too hot and you're gonna be like too cold. You know what's funny is I've actually seen a lot of <laughs> Rude, we are filming. Keep going. I've seen a lot of okay, so like obviously like a lot of girls that are like colder climates have, uh -huh. are taking pictures in like garages right now, like yeah. parking garages. And now I'm starting to see a lot of like LA bloggers do it because I think they think it's like <laughs> no bitches, it's because it's cold. I think it's because they think it's yeah. like a thing. And yeah. then I'm like, no, they yeah, literally that's cold. where they have to shoot right yeah. now because it's snowing. Out. So I've been yeah. dying like seeing all these like parking. If you like the aesthetic, go for yeah. it. But I thought it was funny. I was like, I'm seeing a lot of LA people do parking structure <laughs> shots now. <laughs> like we're saving that for when it gets to like. Yeah, like desperate. Really, really rainy. I'm not doing it on a yeah. sunny day. No, I'm gonna use the sun if we have it. Yeah. Okay, you good with it? Good. Michelle's easing me to test the light. Yep. Real life. Train me better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, swap? Swap. Okay. Making a friend. Aww. Aww. Hello. So cute. You must be like a little teenager. Yeah, please be in my photos. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking take the cat. <laughs> We're just gonna borrow it for like 10 minutes. We just need to borrow your cat. <laughs> okay, so we're shooting Michelle now. I just shot in this corner right there. Um, and you're gonna shoot in there too? Yeah. We're looking for areas with really good sunlight. Yeah. Thank God it's, it's an early like spring summer because I've been dreading like it's rainy still days. winter technically. It's which is why I'm dressed in like fake it's gotta be fur like and what stuff. 80 degrees? No, when I looked it was like 60 something. Oh shit, home. it's 68. It? it feels like <sighs> seven. It feels it feels like, really hot. Yeah. I was just in a fur. I'm vest, really so. surprised. Yeah. It feels like it's 75. because like the sun is literally beating down. Oh. On us, so. I, yeah, if the sun was gone, it would probably be really cold. Yeah, it's really hot. Okay, so we're gonna shoot her. Put you guys down. You're gonna shoot me. <laughs> so time check. Where are we at? What time is it? Let's check the time. Let's see how good we're getting. 1246. Oh my god. Like we started at 1130. This is third looks. Third looks. Yeah, this is third looks? Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. You're getting so good at this. It used to take us like, like seven hours, hours to do three looks. Yeah. Hi. I don't even know like what we were doing. Like why were we wasting so much time? We wanted like 10 different locations. Yeah. But, but, but then we were like, I'm wearing the same outfit in like 30 different Exactly. Spots. And like now, like literally, like for the two that I did, right now I literally shot them in the exact same spot. Yeah. And whatever. I only moved <laughs> once in one outfit. Yeah, the lighting, that's right. I didn't like it. Yeah. So we're getting I'm really fast. Right here. Our mukbang, which will be going up after this. Oh, <laughs> next video. Sorry, I meant to check in with you guys throughout the process, but you know, we got really into the food. Sending Michelle home with some goodies, trying to determine which ones you guys are so bloated right now. Like, again, you <laughs> just being real with y'all. Come on, look at that. <laughs> Again, <laughs> you ordered a sandwich knowing what we were doing. I specifically told us, I was like, we should go get salads. And she's like, yeah, let's go get salads. We went to Fork and Salad. <laughs> she ordered a sandwich. And I looked at her, I'm like, <coughs> like a beefy sandwich. Yeah. And I'm like, we're doing a mukbang. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll be fine. You know what it was? It was so much chocolate. There was a lot of chocolate. Yeah. So, like, I feel like maybe we should have done like, 
two, two, three chocolates, a chip, two, three chocolates, and we a chip. Alternated. But we kind of did like chips all in a row. Yeah, we I what we ended up doing was like cookie slash biscuits, then all the savory stuff, then all of the candy bars. Yeah, yeah. it was just like a lot of chocolate. So like I think like yeah, those Tim Tams just like were just a quick a wonderful experience. They yeah. are just like a quick thing for you guys to entice you to watch this. You should see our reaction to this, oh. the cherry ripe, and then Michelle's reaction when I pulled this out is gold. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but you have to watch the mukbang because <laughs> the roller coaster scared. of emotions that just happened in the last like hour. Like, oh my god, I'm just yeah. <laughs> there were some highs and some lows in here, but like, uh, highs. And like lows. Oh, I I spat something out. <laughs> yeah, we both gagged. We were not happy about that one. Okay, do you want any of this? Do you want this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know you want that? Think about yourself oh, like three, I, that. I was yeah, gonna say, think about that. three hours from yeah. now. I know you're full right now, but you're gonna go home and you're gonna regret it. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else in here? I think, like, I don't. Do you want I the fries? I Sure, I'm not, no, I'm not yeah. gonna give you the cheesels. <laughs> oh no, no, I don't, I don't wanna take those. Those are my those. favorite. No, no, you keep those for sure. <laughs> Trevor's getting the arrow. I'm like, think I that think that's I'm, it. Yeah, I really right? don't think that. You like, can get your own Tim Tams. Yeah, I'm <laughs> like definitely. I'm not even gonna give those to you. I'm gonna take this because I ate half of it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, that's. I feel like I'm that's left it. left with so much stuff. But I'm glad that I finally get to eat all this stuff now. It's like literally been sitting here for oh so my long. Gosh. I do want to do a Tim Tams, but I'm like. I'm not like full full, but I'm just like I'm I really I have bread, and also hold. Mm, coffee's cold. It's not gonna be as good. Mm. It's not gonna melt. I guess you guys will just have to wait for. You need to check it out. The muffin oh, yeah, for a tip. <laughs> <laughs> this is an Australian baby. <laughs> an Australian food baby. <laughs> My God, there's like so many. Cars. I feel like Australian people are, are like so fit, and all of them are like. Beautiful. Oh my God, They're they were. Like, so That's what like, we kept talking about in Australia. We were like, what the hell? Like everyone's here. You know why they do all this weird stuff to entice their people to eat it? Because they probably don't, because they're all healthy. Yeah, right. We saw like everybody had on like gym clothes in the morning, and then they were all in work clothes a little bit later in the morning, and we're like, wow, everyone goes to the freaking gym. Yeah, like every like, Australian blogger, or like I mean, bloggers tend to be not all bloggers, mm -hmm. but I feel like a lot of bloggers try to work out or mm -hmm. like be fit because you know you're recording yeah, in your front of your phone you're taking pictures so you're yeah. a little bit more like conscious of your body yeah. it's just like famous people like not yeah. that they're famous but yeah. like famous people are conscious when you're like camera. a public image yeah, yeah so i feel like but every australian yeah. blogger that i see is like fit yeah. yeah you guys want to see the aftermath <laughs> this is this is the table. Like that's just like just all of this mess. I still have to like walk down those stairs. <laughs> <You do. laughs> I could. I have to do my taxes now. <laughs> I'm gonna go to my parents' house and do my taxes. You say you're gonna like fall asleep at your parents' house? I'm just like, <laughs> did I bring? Sweat? I did. I bring sweatpants. So I think I'm gonna change when I get to my. You parents. should. 100 I could sleep change. right now. <laughs> this couch is very comfortable. It, you know what? This couch is really comfortable. <laughs> Trevor loves napping on this. Oh. I feel defeated. <laughs> I feel so defeated. So what did we learn not to do next time before a mukbang? Don't eat bread before a mukbang or like a taste test. <laughs> like I probably shouldn't have eaten anything. No. Well, no. I mean, I, like I said, I had the salad. I was fine. Oh, God. <laughs> like if I close my eyes, I could go to sleep. I'm so tired now. Probably because we were shooting all day too and we were in the yeah, sun. Yeah, that's true. And I was like hanging out in the sun while you were changing. So mm -hmm. I feel like... Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah, did you shots? show Spartacus? Oh, yeah. So Spartacus was in the video the whole time. But, oh, or not just, in the video, but. He just had his eyes closed and he was snoring just a moment ago. <laughs> oh, he knows when the camera's on him. Oh. Every oh, time. I wanted them to see him snoring. But he's just been sitting there. Oh. A couple barks. Yeah. He tried to climb under, or not tried to, he climbed underneath the tripod like three times in the video. <laughs> he's like, like a fit. You oh. dick. There's like chocolate. I know. I was like, I was like, there's chocolate I saw there's chocolate on my. Oh my god, there's chocolate like on my leg. <laughs> there's literally chocolate on my leg. Wait, what happened to me? Oh my god. <laughs> it's 
fine. Don't worry about it. You live. Like, a little vacuum. Oh my gosh. <sighs> wow, she's out. <laughs> My mom's gonna watch this. Hi, Sylvia! <laughs> <laughs> Your mom is gonna watch she this. She is gonna watch this. <laughs> I can't wait for her to text me about I it. I can't wait for you to go home and tell her that these, these, both these videos are Yeah, coming. oh yeah, she will, she's always like, I'm watching your friend Bottled's videos, and I'm like, Sarah, mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, to be fair, I don't have like my name anywhere on there. <laughs> I have to say it at the beginning of every single video. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I changed All right. my name. <laughs> All right, you guys, so Michelle, left a little while ago and now i am uploading the last few clips from the winter lookbook that i'm putting together i filmed them today so i can finish it and have it up for you guys tomorrow so that'll already be up obviously by the time you guys see this so we are also pet sitting tonight our neighbors asked us to watch their dog this is Tyrion lannister behind me you guys have seen him on a different vlog but um he and spartacus love each other so got a little bit of chaos going on over here but it's fine i don't mind wear both of them out Ooh, careful buddy my camera's here spartacus spartacus thinks that he is as agile and small as Tyrion. he is not so he freaking just like jumps onto the couch and like crashes because he doesn't understand spatial recognition but yeah so right now i'm just uploading the clips and then i need to rough cut them for the lookbooks usually the things that take the longest for me are picking out the song and then actually the description the description really truly really takes the longest but i actually already picked the song so that second hardest part is done putting the description together is probably going to take me a couple of hours just because I have to find all the pieces and link all of the pieces and stuff like that. It's actually a pretty quick process to do so I'm gonna work on this for a little while right now and then I'll have you guys check in a little bit show you guys what the progress looks like after a couple of hours. All right hey you guys so Trevor came home in the middle of me editing so I had like wanted to check in with you guys part way to show you like kind of like what a lookbook looks like when it's about halfway through but since Trevor came home I just kept working on it while we were watching Dexter so obviously I couldn't talk to you guys during it but I have my little peppermint tea ready to go in my stormtrooper mug I'm just letting it steep and cool just a touch I'm not really the type who likes their tea searing hot I like it like a bit above warm if that makes any sense but I did want to show you guys kind of like what everything ends up looking like on the back end for a lookbook. First thing that I always do is I rough cut all of these clips right here down in this ribbon. These are the actual like clips that I'm using. So I'll rough cut to the sections that I like and then from there I literally chop them up. I find parts where I would want to speed it up especially if I'm doing something where I did like a weird transition or something. I definitely always speed that up so you guys like never see it. And then the parts that I want to slow down. Usually for me that's parts where I'm turning around where I'm doing some kind of movement that just is very fluid and kind of like shows off the outfit a little bit. So for instance something like this sequence here is going to go slow, quick, slow. So if I press play, and then on the transition, I speed up and then I slow it down again. So that's kind of like how I put everything together in my head. Then I rearrange it kind of based on the order that I want the outfits to go in and then also which outfit has kind of like the best exit that I feel. So I always end with that one obviously. Then when I put the music on, like I said, that's where I will go in and I will tweak it. And then the next part is probably the most time consuming. As you guys can see, every single one of these little info texts on the screen of like what I'm wearing and everything is a separate little movie that is overlaid on top of the original clip that does take a lot of work i have to go through and i have to create every single one of those and then i do that in keynote and then i still have to cut it when it gets into iMovie and stretch out the still part of it because like i can't figure out how to get keynote to like make a longer version of just like the still part and then also this intro right here which here i'll go ahead and play just the intro for you guys so this with the animated text and everything that's all made in Keynote as well. So to do that, I'm just using all of like the Keynote Animate 
features and then from there I just kind of like pop in the little transitions where I feel like one adds to it. I never want to put in a transition just to put in a transition. Typically it is in between shots and especially in between outfits but if I feel like it doesn't need a transition I don't do it and then I always save clips to the end because like these videos are so short and there actually is usually like a lot going on behind the scenes when we're making these and sometimes we capture that stuff on camera so I put in like these bloopers at the end that are usually just like <laughs> Michelle and I trying to figure out like what to film so that's kind of all the work on the editing side that goes into this and then I just use that little intro card as my thumbnail for these because I feel like it's given it kind of like its own specific branding but yeah total to do this lookbook <sighs> well I was watching Dexter while I was doing it so it took me longer than usual but I would say it's probably taken me about it's probably taking me about six hours total to do all of this and usually I don't do all of this in like one clear shot but because I finished filming it today and I'm trying to upload it for tomorrow that's mainly why I just sat and finished it all in one shot usually I'll split it up but yeah I mean when you only have the weekend to create content you kind of do what you gotta do so i'm actually gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i feel like i've given you guys a really in-depth look into how i'm creating so much content over the weekends one thing that you guys aren't gonna see that's gonna happen tomorrow is i'm actually gonna film two or three videos kind of back to back to back one of them Trevor is involved in. I cannot wait to share that one with you guys. It's going to be a few weeks out. It's going to go up on March 10, which is going to be the 12 year anniversary of our first date. So we're filming a very special video for you guys. I'm so excited for it. But I'm going to be going nonstop tomorrow in back to back to back videos. So I will just see you guys in the next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe like this vlog. Also, this lookbook that I just showed you went up before this vlog, so if you haven't checked it out, I definitely suggest checking it out. It actually turned out really, really well. Odd thing about the lookbooks, whenever I drop the clips into iMovie, I'm always convinced that it's going to be terrible, and then it actually ends up being something that I'm really proud of. The lookbooks are my favorite videos to make because I get to be so creative with them. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen it yet, I really appreciate it if you would hop over there, check it out, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that does help out my channel a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.